Hi everyone, I'm quite sad about making this video today because the symbolism is just getting so obvious now, it's just r ridiculous. It's becoming more and more prevalent. Before we talk about things that have happened in the past 24 hours, I'd just like to point out about this video, Happy, by Pharrell Williams. See how this Y here, if you take the bottom bit out of it, it becomes a B for the fifth age. Even um, this W here is the W for World War Three. The same if you turn this M upside down, it becomes a W for World War Three. The two L's next to each other here, wherever I said the Twin Towers, the same as the two L's here. The same as these two R's. Even if you take the line here, out, out of this H, you're left with just two lines representing the Twin Towers. Just like the H in hospital. See, there's two P's as well, again representing the Twin Towers. It's all to do with two letters next to each other in this name here. Not just the name of the artist, but the name of the video as well. See how the word video, there's a V for the fifth age at the start of it. But I, I realise that some people will be massively sceptical about this. That's why I'm doing this first and we're leaving like the more prevalent things until the end. This V Festival is due to kick off on Friday the 13th. Not the best date to start a festival on if you're superstitious. The V for the Fifth Age. The F for the Fifth Age. See this? This V Festival is done by the company Virgin and this represents your wise Virgin Christians this is just ridiculous guys like I hope they increase security to maximum at this V festival because you never know like terrorists or something could, could attack it especially with a crowd full of people on Friday the 13th. See, I mean, see how this the word music starts with an N? Turn it upside down, it becomes a W for World War Three. The Virgin logo is red for Satan. Well, the background of it is, the actual word virgin is white for heaven. Again, it represents blending the good with the bad. Blending the light with the dark. Blending the iron with the clay. Blue for Jesus Christ and the light and the good. And God. And yellow, well, that's close to red. See how Twitter also has two letters next to each other, say. Now remember, Daisy Wood Davis plays um, Kim in Hollyoaks. And remember I said she, she represents the woman of the Bible because she's got blonde hair. See, even, like, these two O's next to each other, two letters next to each other again. Right, Daisy, just like Daisy in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., 
and just like Daisy Ridley. Davis. Just like Warwick Davis. See the W for World War Three again. Here again. Now Wood. Just like Dominic Wood out of Dick and Dom. Here's the M. Turn it upside down. W for World War Three. They put these RFID chips in dogs. Like a microchip. And I swear my dog's got one. But yeah, anyway, they're, they're planning on putting putting these in um, humans. See? RFID chip 666 and Mark of the Beast. Um, like, see this... See this new story from five hours ago? Five representing the fifth age again? That Queen filmed calling Chinese officials very rude. Then we got David Cameron calls Nigeria and Afghanistan fantastically corrupt. Then we've got Obama. Um not apologizing f um for the americans bombing hiroshima during world war ii so what obama's doing what david cameron's doing and what the queen's doing is all stirring up things between other countries and britain and the usa so that they have Loads of excuses to start World War Three. And then they're going to blame it on, like, Korea or one of the other countries. Or some of the other countries. Because they're all rising up with our new world order. See the mark of the beast right there? See the nuclear football right there, teed up. See how the A in USA even looks like an Illuminati pyramid? That same A is on Captain America's head. Look, look at this. Around 2010... It, sorry, let me start that again. Around 2020, HMS Queen Elizabeth, our new aircraft carrier, and the biggest warship we have ever had is due to start operations. It will be a symbolic moment as 70,000 tonnes of floating British sovereignty take to the, to the oceans. And depending on the result of the referendum, this will also be... This, this will also be shortly after we have cast off from the EU. We are not a superpower, but we have a legitimate need to protect and enhance our global interests. It is important that we maintain the independent defence capability to do so. We stand the best chance of doing so outside the EU. This, here, enhance our global interests, what it means, what it actually means is enhancing the elite's global interests. And enhancing the Illuminati and the Freemasons' global interests. It, don't you think it's a bit suspicious that it says, like, 2020? And that is, um, like, the, the year that DC and Marvel uh, have, have, like, planned films up until... Like, they haven't planned any films past that year yet. And is that because that something drastic is going to happen on this year where they can't make any more films anymore? So it's a symbolic moment. And the Illuminati are all about symbolism, remember? All this sovereignty business... That's to do with, like, the new British Empire rising up and the new world order rising up. And then 
this aircraft carrier, who knows, it could like be carrying nukes or something. I mean, I even had a dream the other night where um, the Henry Cavill, the Henry Cavill Superman, the Christopher Reeve Superman, and the Tom Welling Superman were all lined up in a row. And remember, um, I said that Superman represents Jesus. So that 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 is that is why I have faith in both. Superman and Jesus, because he's he's now coming to me in my dreams. So, yeah. You see, you see, like remember Obama is the forty fourth president, and this you see this E forty five sun lotion. Well. Will we even get onto the forty fifth president? That's the that's the question. You see the fifteen for the fifth age. Even on this um, nature's epic journeys program on the BBC, you have the elephant again. Just like in that Cam Kanye West video, "No Church in the Wild," this represents the the image of the beast. So it's to do with like idol worship. Remember, they they were all worshiping this elephant in the Kanye West video. They even had that that in this Nature's Epic Journeys program. They even had that bloody helicopter again. Remember the helicopter on this Illuminati card game cover? It represents the same helicopter as Kingpin's helicopter in Daredevil, but also Lex Luthor's helicopter in bloody Batman v Superman. Right. Even even remember remember this cup in my house as well, with the elephant on. And oh, th this is just crazy, guys. I'm sorry. This is this is just insane. Then we've got bloody like um attack on main on mainland from Irish Republicans. Strong possibility as terror threat raised. An attack on the British mainland from the new IRA or other Republican terrorists. So we've got that happening. You've even got Bristol schoolboy stabbed in the head with a set of keys. So, like... Possibly the person who did the stabbing... Like, might be possessed by Satan. Like even these, these like Irish Republican terrorists, they might be possessed by Satan as well. See how the elephants even in even in Indiana Jones, these elephants are even on like the Lego game games of um, Indiana Jones as well. <clears throat> See how Willie and in Indiana Jones represents the woman of the Bible with her blonde hair? See, she's dressed, dressed up for the wedding feast of the Lamb. Because possibly the Lamb and the woman of the Bible could be the same person. Family Guy, the F for the fifth age. Why, why, why? Happy has a why, family has a why, guy has a why. <laughs> 